Today we're going to be looking at the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator. This popular indicator was developed in the early 70s by Gerald Appel. It's commonly referred to as the MACD indicator or the MACD indicator. So let's go take a look at that indicator right now. So we have on the screen a daily candlestick chart of a security. And what we want to do now is to put an MACD indicator on this chart. And how we do that, we simply go to our below chart studies, click once, and choose Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD. You can see the MACD right here. And then click off the end. As you can see, below the chart now, we have two lines, and we have a histogram. And all of these lines are important in different ways. So let me just show you how the MACD is created. So it's a consistence of a fast and slow moving average, a 12 and a 26 day moving average. The signal period is a 9 day exponential moving average. These are all exponential moving averages. Now this is the standard setting that Gerald Appel recommends, but you can adjust them if you want to. You can see the lines changing just by moving these lines around. And then of course you can just reset them by clicking here. It gives you the default. And we'll be using the default setting for the MACD today. There are three ways you can use the MACD indicator. There's the crossover method, which is right here. Then there's the centerline method. Then you can use it as a positive or negative divergence indicator. And I'll show you how each of them work. The most common use of this indicator is when you see the lines crossing. You have the blue line crossing, the red line indicating that the trend has turned up. You can also use the histogram, which is this little gray line right here in the bottom. It runs around the center line. And when that turns into a positive, it means the trend is actually heading higher. And of course, when it turns the other way, it means the trend is turning lower. Now, you can get whipsawed in using the MACD. There's no question about that. But you can use it very judiciously and you can also use it for a very cool function. And this is the reason I like this indicator. And how I use it is this way. We are talking about divergences. And as you can see on the chart, you have the prices making a high here, falling back, and then making another new high. But what didn't happen was the fact that the indicator, the MACD, was actually weakening, indicating a divergence. So the prices were not being followed by the momentum. In that's case, that's the case of the divergence, a negative divergence. It was a tip off that this was a high. And that's one of the very useful functions you can use with this indicator. Now the reverse is true on a positive divergence. And let me give you an example of how that works. In this example, we'll be looking at a positive divergence, meaning the markets made a low, rallied somewhat, and then came back down and made another new lower low. And look what happened to the divergences. First of all, you had the crossover and the histogram going positive. Second of all, you had a divergence. It did not go as low as the previous low on the MACD indicator. And that's a divergence indicating that a reversal was probably in the cards. So here you have one low and the lower low. Look at the angle. And then you have a low here and you have a higher low indicating that it was losing its downward momentum. And really, that's all you need to know about the MACD. It's a very good indicator. It's available, and you should take a look at it for your own trading. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this presentation useful and helpful to your own trading.